I fuck with Shawty cause she bout her business, ayy. She independent and she on a mission, ayy. Been through some shit, but now it's better living. What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashionisha, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you comment down below. Hashtag Flavor Squad. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So today we have another business video. Today we'll be going over the essentials you need to build a clothing brand, to start your clothing brand. These are a few of the essentials that you will need to get that started. So I want to just make sure that you know these are not the only options. These are not like the only things you need, but these are just a few essentials that you will need to be successful and to build a clothing brand. And to just run your clothing brand efficient. The first item I want to begin with is a simple printer. Some things that you will need to print are things such as your packing slip that tells what's inside of the package and gives the total or the price for the items ordered. You also might need to print out things that you have to sign as a business, your legal documents and things like that. So a printer is very essential to your business. You can also use your printer to do things such as printing stickers for your business, to promote your business or to just market your packaging. You can use your printer to print out things such as that. I wouldn't say go too expensive for your printer. Um, you need it to be simple. If you want it to be only black and white, that's fine. You just need something to print with. You also will need to print your shipping labels. When I started my business, I only used my printer to print out shipping labels. So I was using like a, um, sticker printer paper i'm gonna show you guys so i was using these shipping label papers and they're a sticker so when you print them out you just cut them and place them on your packaging but i wasted a lot of paper that way i just feel like sometimes you only get one order so you have to print on that one sheet of paper and now you can't use the other half so that would be kind of difficult but when you're starting off, you don't want to just jump into the most expensive thing. An alternative to the printer and printing your shipping labels would be a Rolo thermal printer. Now I have a Rolo thermal printer. Just print my shipping labels out. It's super fast. It doesn't use ink. It uses heat actually. So that's very convenient. But if you can't afford that, don't force yourself to buy it. Just use a printer. It's simple. It's easy it's good to start off with. But if you do have the money to put into your business, I would suggest getting a Rolo Thermo print. Our next business essential is a scale. You will need a scale to weigh your packaging, to weigh your products, and to input that weight into your website. Postal services do require you enter the weight of your package just so they can correctly calculate the shipping cost for your customer. So you do want to make sure that that is updated and accurate for all of your items every time you ship. I got my scale from Amazon. I'll be sure to link it below. All of my products that I have, I will be sure to link below so that you guys can check them out if you would like to order them. This is just a simple scale. You can change it from ounces to pounds, kilograms, whatever you want to use. You don't have to get the fanciest thing. You don't have to get anything colorful. Now, if you prefer that, do you? But this is just something simple that can weigh my packages. Not too fancy. Give me the weight. That's all I need. Your next essential item would be some sort of electronic device. Now, the electronic device that I really want to recommend is a laptop or desktop. But if you cannot, for some reason, afford a desktop or a laptop, that is totally fine. I use Shopify for my website and you can use Shopify's app to print out your packing slips and to print out your shipping labels as long as it connects to your printer. So you don't necessarily need a laptop or a desktop if you can't afford that right now. Do not force yourself to do anything you can't afford. You can use your cellular device. Everybody, if you're starting a business, you should have a cell phone. Um, so you can use your phone to do the essential things that you need to do. For me, I am using my MacBook Pro. Here it is. I can't turn my screen off, but here it is. This is all I use for printing packing slips or printing shipping labels or anything else that I need to print out. I use this, but sometimes if I want to get something quick, I don't want to grab my laptop. I can use my phone and I do use my phone. It's connected to my printer. It's not connected to my Rolo printer. I don't know if that's possible. I don't know if it's possible to use your phone with your Rolo printer, but it is possible to connect your phone to your 
printer. But yeah, you do want some type of computer or some type of device to make graphics and things like that. The laptop is very essential. You have, you want to make marketing graphics. You want to make logos. You want to make designs and things like that. Sometimes you need to do those things digitally. So these are great devices for that. But like I said, if you are unable to have a desktop or a laptop, your phone should be great for the simple things that you need to do. The next business essential that you need for your clothing brand would be a website platform. Personally, I use Shopify. I haven't used anything else. Um, Shopify is pretty simple to me, easy to use. I built my website on my own on Shopify. However, the updated site that I have is not made by me. Um, someone else created the website for me you can do that you can pay someone or you can do it yourself they do give you a lot of helpful tips on creating your own website there are plenty of videos out there to help you create it it's not that expensive as well i think they have a free trial and the lowest version is about 30 dollars a month that's what i pay i think the next plan is like 75 which gives you more analytics more data to use which is cool once your business grows you can grow your website as well so that you can gain more data to use in your marketing but it is essential that you have a website selling in person that's very great that's great but you also want to reach the masses you want to make sure everyone is able to have access to your product if you're only selling on hand or if you're only selling at pop-up shop how are the people who can't get to those events or get to you going to shop your business so you want to make sure that you do have some sort of website platform available for them to purchase from you whether that's Facebook marketing, Instagram marketing, there are so many different ways that you can sell your product online now. There really isn't an excuse, but you do need that for your business. The next business essential for your clothing brand would be proper packaging. For some clothing brands, you can use boxes. Most clothing brands, they use poly mailers, and that's what I use, so that's what I'll be talking about today. This is the main poly mailer that you would need. You wanna make sure that your sizing and dimensions are large enough to fit the products that you sell. Some people have custom packaging, which is awesome. That's even better, but if you cannot afford the custom packaging right now, that's okay. There are also ways that you can customize your packaging yourself by adding stickers, maybe a stamp, things like that. That's where the printer comes in. If you wanted to print out something, I believe I've done this before. At one time, I, at one point, I was using boxes, and I was printing my logo out on the shipping sticker papers. So I just stuck it on the box, and now I have a logo on there. You know, it wasn't the best looking thing, but it was what I had at the time. And if you wanted to do that to your poly mailers, you definitely could. Now, something else that I want to mention that some people just forget. You want to have clear packaging for your items as well. This just adds extra protection to the garment. If something happens during shipping and this rips open, now your customer's item is extra protected with this clear poly mailer. You always want to make sure that your customer is having the best experience. And once this package is out of your hands, it's out of your hands. So the, the mailing people, the postman, the postwoman, the driver is now in their hands, but you can't control how they handle your packages. So you wanna make sure that you do the best you can to protect your customer's garment. I purchased my poly mailers and my clear poly bags from Amazon. I'll also be sure to link those down below for you. The next business essential item for your clothing brand would be a tagging gun. This is the tagging gun that you can use to add tags to your clothing garments. Here are my tags and you just stick it right through and stick it through the garment and now you have a hang tag on your garment you want your clothing to be as professional as possible so starting off sometimes we can't have professionals do this thing for us or do this part of the business for us like putting hang tags on there so you have to figure out a way to do it yourself luckily they have things out here like hang tag guns so that you are able to do it yourself i also purchased this from amazon and i will be sure to link that down in the description below as well sometimes when you're ordering from manufacturers they will do this for you they will include that in your order so if you are ordering from a manufacturer and you're not sure if they do that make sure that you ask them or communicate what you would like to them for your tagging the next essential that we have are lint rollers like i mentioned you want to make sure your customer is having the best experience you don't want your clothes to be dirty when you send them to your customer you don't want them to have too many flaws when you're sending them out everything's not perfect of course 
but you can do little things to make sure that they are as best as can be and lint rollers come in handy there's always things flying around girls we have hair that could be shedding and all on the clothes and you don't want to deliver your product to someone they open it up and you ain't got a blonde hair or a black hair and they just know it's not theirs so you want to make sure that you are doing the best you can at quality control <laughs> So lint rollers really come in handy with that, with just keeping things clean, keeping things neat and presentable for your customer. These are not expensive at all. They do have expensive ones, but I got maybe five from the Dollar Tree and they have a lot of stickers on there. So even though it doesn't pick up the best, it's a lot of stickers out here so I can just change the sticker and keep going and it gets the job done. You want to have these laying around everywhere. like everywhere where you fold where you package just always have a lint roller available because you never know when something might get attached to your clothing and a way to save you from having to do this every time you package an order is to pre-package your orders if you have 50 sweatshirts that you know you're going to sell soon package all of those sweatshirts up do quality control add your tags and now you don't have to do this every time you package an order the next business essential for a clothing brand, I would say in my opinion, are clothing racks or shelves. Either or, whichever one you prefer. I think shelves are a little better than clothing racks just because you can actually stack up the packages and stack up the product already folded. I do think that's a very important essential. You don't have to start off with anything too extravagant. Um, I will insert clips of what I use right now. I do have a clothing rack and I also have this little shelving unit, I guess, right here with the doors on it. And I also have one that's just like a rack. Um, I also use this clothing rack sometimes when I'm taking photos or videos. You just want to make sure you have somewhere for your inventory to go. A place for everything. So that you are able to be organized, you are able to ship things out efficiently, and you're not losing track of inventory. Things like this can be thrifted. You can find them at Goodwill or something. You can also find these on Amazon. I got my clothing rack and the shelf over here from Amazon. The other rack that I have is actually not mine. My boyfriend had it and now I have it. So sometimes people have these things that you don't even know they have that they don't even need or use. So be sure to ask around before you spend your money because these things can get pretty expensive, but you can find some that are affordable as well. And I will link the ones that I have down in the description box below. The next thing you will need is a folding table, a table to fold your garments up, make them look nice and package them. You can do this on the floor or something if you don't have a folding table or you can't afford it as long as you're keeping that floor clean but let's be honest is a floor really ever clean no so you want to make sure again you're giving your customers the best experience as can be so getting a folding table is something that i suggest you invest in so that you can give them the best experience ever and you're able to actually fold your clothes neatly and package them neatly as well i the one i have now was about 35 dollars i've seen the good ones range from maybe 35 to 60 dollars so it can be a pretty penny sometimes but you can find something that's affordable you know ask somebody to help you invest or save up money to invest but these are one of the things that are really important you don't want to be folding on the floor you can start off doing that but when people think about it like oh, my clothes were on the floor where you walk all day it's just it's not something good that you want your customers to be thinking about when they get their order from you the very last business essential that i have for this video are promotional items or marketing items or freebies that you give to your customers when they order i give my customers every customer gets a decal and these decals can be placed anywhere they can be placed on cups on computers on cars whatever they want to put them they can be placed that's an extra marketing for your business somebody could ask them what's that what does that mean where'd you get that oh that's cool and now that's a conversation starter for your customer to tell someone about your clothing brand so it's little things like this i know most of us have crickets or we have a silhouette cameo that cuts vinyl or that can cut out stickers and things like that so if you have this use it to your advantage it costs little to no money to make this little sticker 
to make this little decal to send to your customers and just give them something else to make them feel good give them something else to promote your brand to make them feel a part of your brand i also give my customers a keychain like i said this is just something oh it's a keychain they know exactly where this goes this goes on their keys when someone sees it they're going to be like oh what's that why do you have this keychain when people put something on their keychain it usually means something to them or it's of some importance you know it means something so someone else that doesn't know about your brand can ask them what is that what does this mean and now it's a conversation starter about your clothing brand i got these done by sticker mule sticker mule i got these done by stickermule.com <laughs> Oh, that was so hard to say stickermule.com it wasn't that expensive like I said you have to make investments in your business and this is just a small investment for your customer a small thank you for shopping it doesn't have to be anything extravagant you give what you want to give but you want to make sure that your customers know that they're appreciated because they didn't have to shop with you they could have shopped somewhere else they didn't have to support you they could have supported someone else so you want to make sure that you are showing them that they are appreciated by you that's all i have for you guys in this video i hope that you enjoyed it i hope you learned something new and i gave you some insight on the essentials that you need for your business while building your clothing brand if you guys would like any more business videos or you have anything that you want me to talk about or go into depth about make sure that you leave that in the comment section below make sure you like this video subscribe to the channel yeah i'm on this road of building my clothing brand again <laughs> i'm enjoying it it's scary y'all oh this is you know when you're doing something new something you've never done before is gonna be scary now i've done this before but i haven't given it my all like i'm giving it this time so it's very scary but you gotta keep moving you gotta keep pushing along anything new is going to be unfamiliar so just keep going make sure that you guys check out my clothing brand dynamic fashion down in the description box below i will put the links down there for you guys to check out also follow us on instagram at dynamic x fashion and tiktok at dynamic x fashion as well but that's all i have for you guys so may your curls pop and your grind never stop flavor squad i'm out of here